Alright guys, welcome back. What is up? This is the Losers Bracket Finals number one. Oh, here we go. I'm going to set that up perfectly. Cool, we're using a little cool new little interface. Thank you, courtesy of ESNN TV. Thanks guys, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Uh, looking at it right now, we are in the Losers Bracket Finals. This will be a quick little best of one. Uh, starting off at our top left, we do have the Zerg. Kemi, who was just in the winner's bracket finals, unfortunately uh, got cheesed a couple times and just got pushed to the limit of overaggressiveness by his opponent, Drox. On the other side of things, we do have, I think, our, like our first harem, pretty much, of the game. We have um, Macro, so cool stuff. It will be our pink harem. Looking at things right now... Um, not too much going on right now. Uh, this is on Shakura's Plateau. This seems to be the popular map of the day. Both players have spawned close positions at the moment. So fortunately for uh, Macro, he will be able to, I mean for Kemi, he will be able to get some, uh, he will be able to get that Overlord over there and see everything else. So looking at things, uh, depends, I'm actually interested to see, so no six pool, nothing too funky going on in the early game, as, god, I actually like the interface, I just want it to be, like, bigger. Love you, S and N T V, but you guys gotta make it bigger. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Mad. Look, Maddie. Mandy, I'm looking at you, Mandy. <laughs> uh, both players are chatting up, I actually missed it, let's see, really quick at the chat log. Is it that? No, guess not. It's not. Never mind. Never mind. Can't do. I can't look at chat log. Those knobs. Brutal. All right. Either way, looking at things right now, we do see that macro at the moment is just kind of doing a standard time. He's getting that ten supply, twelve racks, thirteen gas. So nothing completely out of the ordinary. Perfectly fine. Uh, finally, that Overlord 4 Kemi is kind of getting over there. He will see that gas, and that's going to be nice. Does have to be careful though. Uh, once that barracks does finish, you don't want to sacrifice exactly an Overlord. That easily um, is just double checking, make sure there isn't a double gas going on right now at the moment. Make sure there's nothing like too too funky. Um, but at this point, he does need to get that Overlord the hell out of there because one Marine is actually going to have enough DPS to take it out if it sits at the middle of the map, and I think he will be able to escape just fine. On the other side of things, we look at Kemi right now. He is getting his natural base up and running. We're going to see. Uh, right now uh, Queen kind of getting out of the spawning pool so yeah this is just going to be early kind of early stuff nothing too too exciting except the fact that there's a double second gas going down before anything else a reactor on that uh, on the barracks so we might actually see some Hallions some Banshees I don't know it's kind of crazy it's actually interesting grabbing that second gas before getting a factory exactly can't exactly get a read on the build directly right now at the moment Natural about halfway done for Kemi. A um, couple things just kind of kind of run by. Try to take map control. Definitely want to save that uh, poor little SUV running for its dear life right now. Um, don't want to get picked off just yet. Uh, the fortunate thing right now for Kemi, he will be able to see that there is a reactor on that barracks. Um, don't know what that exactly gives away to him. Nothing just yet, but the fact he does see the reactor uh, pretty much gives indication that two, two things. Either he's going to go heavy to, uh, to barracks pressure, or he's going to go build a factory. Dude, what is... You, quit banging on the door. Like, What is your guys' problem? I'm like, I'm in the middle of a cast. Like, literally... We're, we're, we're gonna have to talk about this. Sorry, ro ro roommates, man. Rude, ro rude roommates, man. RR. All right, looking at it right now, we got the factory in production. Uh, he's building a tech lab on it. So interesting decision. We, I'm like absolutely thoroughly confused right now. What's going on exactly with the build that uh, Macro is doing at the moment? Um, right now, uh, two spine crawlers. Are getting built at the front for Kemi. I don't know exactly what he's doing or what he's exactly been able to see. Um, there's no Evo chamber or anything crazy down. He's actually doesn't have a lot going on for him at the moment. Uh, Macro's actually looking a lot stronger. He's actually getting that siege tank. So we actually might see a nice little uh, siege tank timing push. We've got quite a few Marines here at the front, especially with that reactor could rally a lot. And we do see that medevac right there, so we're able to get vision that he needs. 
Uh, needs a little bit more gas to try to get out more tanks at the moment. Probably is going to pull a couple SCVs and just do a one base timing push. If it works, it's going to be awesome. If not, um, it's going to be a really huge advantage for Kemi. Uh, Bailing this is just going up at the moment. There aren't a lot of links. We see that there is one link just out on the field at the moment, so you can't really make a bunch of Bailings off of one link, but he's got 29 workers to 24. Uh, fortunately, the mule kind of does cancel out a little bit, uh, the extra workers that are out on the field. So here we go, we do see, uh, picks up the tank, so interesting decision, does pick up tank, he's going to pick up a second tank, going to throw him down on the low ground, but fortunately there is an overlord that just kind of sees everything going on. Oh my god, I see, Kemi has to see everything, but what can Kemi do? Uh, right now, once those tanks do get placed, he's going to roll, walk right over them. And I think he's just going to position with his siege time right here and then going to do a little bit of an elevator play. And right now, uh, Kami can actually do nothing at all to stop this at the moment, especially with good positioning in that meta back. That vision is absolutely dirty. And this is that huge problem with close air position. Uh, Overlord is going to get taken out, maybe. Nope, you know, it will not. But at least those Marines can kind of dance around the backside. Four banelings are getting more. Twentylings are about to pop up. But, I mean, what is he going to lose? He's going to lose a gas. He's losing mineral mining time right now. On the backside production, we do see, don't forget, uh, we got more tanks. We got a uh, bunker up, so he's well defended on the backside. Macro looking really strong. Takes out the spawning pool, and that's a huge blow right now for... Um, oh, man, should have just attacked it without getting splash damage his. Um, at his stuff. Spawning pool is going to start getting built right there here at the back side of the natural. He's oversaturated at the main. There's a lot of uh, lings. Definitely is not over committing. It's going to go back with the tanks. He's going to maybe put him back in a position or at least try to kill the overlord. We'll see. Third base uh, again taken down for Kimmy. I'm interested. I'm kind of like watching this really carefully. Uh, but you see right now he is supply blocked at the moment, trying to do that double supply, not uh, wasting anything on supply drops, getting the extra mineral timing instead. Command center getting built in the front, I like this. Um, that was actually a really awesome push by Macro. Good, 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 good push, good stuff, I like it. Um, good timing. And actually, does he have that heat? I think he actually upgraded that. I think he upgraded his bunker? No, did he? That looks like an upgraded bunker, if I'm not mistaken. Chat, you guys are going to have to correct me on that or tell me after a game. I think that's an upgraded bunker, if I'm not mistaken. At least armor-wise. I don't think it has more room. I don't know, maybe I'm just losing my mind. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. It looks, it looks upgraded. Something, Something's different with the graphics. And, oh, actually, on the back side over here, we actually missed it. Macro doing a great job. Oh, has to be careful. Oh, my God. Try to get around the back side of the Marines. But, fortunately, Marines are in such a good position. Ran into the tank, splash, and this Bailey Ness is actually going to get taken down. Second one is already on its way. Um, this is just really unfortunate right now for uh, Kami. You cannot lose bases this early. Um, he can't focus on tech and stuff like that, but the fact he does have a lot of links and banelings, uh, Macro cannot get overconfident. He cannot try to elevate his way up right now and try to attempt to do some kind of crazy style push. Um, on the backside of things, he does have a queen, and he actually has three tanks at the front, so actually if you want to do a push on the backside, take out the third and keep just starving out uh, Kami, he could. And you got to remember, guys, uh, this is a best of one right now. This is the loser's bracket finals, but this is a best of one. So definitely uh, all or nothing with this match. Um, winner goes back to the best of five. Uh, Kemi, who just played Droz. Droxes, whoops, sorry, Droxes, he already played him today. So, yeah. I think it would be cool to get a TBZ matchup in the final. Best of five, really creative. TBZs are usually the most uh, popular, uh, at least matchup to watch. Really fun to see the creativity of drops and tanks and banelings and tech up and all that stuff. Uh, meanwhile, we do see right now Spire is going up for Kemi. We'll look at his base on the other side. Uh, Macro does have his natural finally up in the natural. And it looks like he's actually just going to push out. And actually, this is a huge, vicious number of tanks right now. We're going to look. I think that's actually six tanks. That is a great number uh, for the amount of units that Kami has. He's only got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven banelings and just mainly lings. We see Aspire is only halfway done. He's actually not really upgraded at all either. Getting a uh, Carapace 2, so he's getting 2, but he doesn't have no attacks and getting centrifugal hooks. So he is a little behind, and right now, if uh, Kemi does get that good position, he needs to push those tanks up. Oh, he needs to do a little bit better play. 
Um, Got to be careful. Can't do that. Oh, I love this. Getting a tank on the high ground, getting that vision. Uh, all that splash going on. The only thing that could really reach it is Muta's at the moment. I am wondering kind of what Kemi is, I mean, Macro is doing at the moment. He's got four on Siege tanks just kind of hanging out at the moment. He definitely needs to kind of get up there, do a little bit more of an aggressive push, and maybe take an aggressive stance with that tank. Creep is going to get cleared up with a good little scan right now, and here we go. He needs a backup. I don't know if Stim is up at the moment. He's actually going to lift. There is no Stim, but he is going to lift. And look at all these Banelings just getting wasted away. And oh, and one more splash, and a lot of these Banelings do get taken out. Uh, three more are getting formed. There's no more uh, Lings on the way. Oh, 38 Lings are actually on the way. I stand corrected. But right now, he cannot focus on getting the Mutas, and that could be what uh, will be the death of him at the moment. There are those Banelings. He needs to focus, fire them. Oh my god, has to be careful. Rolling them back. And, oh my god, pot shot at the Banelings. Now there's just a bunch of Lings out on the field. And actually, this amount of, uh, this amount of Lings could do quite a bit of damage. But the, look at that, Spinecrawler getting taken out at the front. And good splash, good positioning by the tank at the front. So there's actually not a lot left. Ling, uh, Queen gets taken out. And, oh my god, it's just Baneling us. He lifts everything up. And great lift micro right now. Oh my god, making Kemi just look, uh, making Kemi look silly right now. More SCBs are getting uh, brought into the fray right now, and yeah, you just look at that. Rally links into a tank and Marines. Uh, kind of sitting at the backside, I like that. He pulled a few Marines back just in case to save his tank, but right now if you wanted to, you could focus fire the hell out of that uh, lair, and that would be just huge problems. Finally, Mutas are coming out, but I think it's going to be a little too late, um, especially if he loses this Evo Chamber. Upgrade never finishes, never canceled. Uh, Banelings are going to come down, but here we go. Here's the nice part of having tanks. Um, loses only a couple of Marines right there. Lifts up the other two. And here we go. Drop some more Marines back in there. And oh my god, here we go. All he needs to do is just now snipe. Great positioning by Macro. I like this. Uh, Mutas are finally out on the field, but you know, just too little, too late. More, Four more tanks are getting on the backside, so he did actually a good job of not rallying at first, getting a good army before he got out there, and two more tanks on the backside. And this is going to be GG for Kemi, no offense. All these poor little drones sitting in the back of the base, can't do much about it. Uh, four mutas are not going to be able to do anything at all, unfortunately. And, oh, he actually runs a few of them in. He's going to be able to chase them down. No, he will not. Three mutas are left, but, I mean, at the same time, look at all these poor drones sitting on the backs. I can't do much about it. Loses every single one of them. Kill count just goes through the roof. 31 drones killed, and that's about it. Now uh, the bailing, the spire, and the spawning pool all going to get taken down. Look at all these tanks. There's no way and nothing that uh, poor Kemi can do about it. So it looks like we are going to have a TVZ final, grand final in a sense. Um, Kemi's just kind of hanging out, you know, holding his head. Trying to get some mutas out there, you know, can't even pick up any of the tanks. And I think with the creepy, I think he's pretty sure that there is a third over here, but I mean, what? not much worth at that point. Knowledge in a sense. I would do see right now, he's just kind of moving all the tanks, moving everything down to the third third base, and this should be the final GG that he needs. Um, being a little cautious, you know, uh, one way, I guess... Kemi could have came back if he did have more uh, bailings. He could have planted mines all over the field and like walked up in a natural, just loses everything. And here we go. That's actually pretty cool. We're, we actually have the unseached tanks doing a lot of attack on these poor mutas in the front. We should see a GG right here. Third is third and final base gets taken down. Oh no, BG, not GG. Congratulations to Macro, losers bracket finals, best of one. Now he is in the grand finals. Gonna be a best of five. Good stuff. Gonna be just freaking awesome.